Seamus Fanning of Villasale College, Waterford. Yes, tell me, Seamus. Well, the pyramid has been in our midst for centuries, and really, we've never noticed the effects to which it can be put. So, we've had a lot of information, but it has been lost over many centuries during the Dark Ages, which were ages of persecution by the Christians. So we've had to start from scratch really again and build up our knowledge of the pyramid. Why should the pyramid have special force and special power? It's really a mystery because we don't know where they come from, you know. We've, we know that they have effects on certain substances, but we don't know why really. It's all to do with the atmosphere, light and, all, and direction. And this is what creates this mummifying effect. Yeah, it's it's to do with the concentration of power at certain points, and that mummifies various objects. For instance, the king's body or meat. So tell me about your experiment. Well, I've worked on milk mostly, and I've worked on one experiment with cream. This was a very interesting experiment because. I expected to get cheese from the cream within a period of time and within a period of over eight days from the time I put the cream into the pyramid to the time I came back and checked it again I had a cheese, a very rich cheese which had a very rich odour from it while I also put um, a jar outside the pyramid to compare with the one inside and it had gone very very sour so that was a very interesting experiment in itself um, I also but is this not something you could sell to the milk companies well if they're interested i mean i'm here for the next have you ever days. heard of a milk company experimenting with this kind of thing on the continent they do a lot about they do a lot with it but not in ireland with really. pyramids with pyramids yeah and your pyramid is simply made of plastic sheeting is it yeah it's just a simple construction and you put the milk in, the cream in under the that. Cream goes the, in, the cream goes in under the apex at exactly one third the height from the midpoint of the base. And it's here that the power more or less concentrates. That's what gives us the effects that we get on them. And uh, there is no physical reason why this should be so, that you know? No. Why it should be one third from the base, for example? Well, the light comes through at different angles. One light can come through the walls of the pyramid and it will be reflected around the pyramid at different angles to the walls. And it just seems to concentrate around a third up from the base. You know, it seems to have something to do with gravity.